Hey guys, welcome to the fourth episode of Geek Bulletin. This is a weekly video series where we try to update you with science and tech happenings around the world. With that said, let's just jump right in. The first news is from University of Colorado Boulder, where the scientists have made a futuristic super material which promises to cool both homes and power plants in the near future. This futuristic material is literally a plastic wrap made up of materials which are easy to mass produce and works just like the earth. This material is a three-layered one with the bottom one coated with reflective silver which serves the purpose of reflecting the incoming radiation from the sun. The layer above it is a basic see-through polymer. And the top layer is made up of small glass beads which are at appropriate sizes which only allow the infrared radiation from the bottom to pass through them, but not the incoming IR radiations from the sun. In a real test, it was able to reflect 96% of the incoming sunlight right back. And a study shows that at 200 square feet of this material on top of a single house family, can cool it just like an AC. This material looks promising indeed as it will be able to do the same for the power plants. The next news is from Brazil and it's not a good one. A distant relative of the Zika virus, the yellow fever strikes the heart of the urban cities in Brazil. 234 people were already diagnosed with this disease and there are 80 reported deaths due to this. If this spillover does happen, the Aedes aegypti, the mosquitoes well known as the carriers for this disease and other diseases like Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya can effectively spread this disease all across Americas. This disease is a deadly one because the symptoms are just like the common flu. But if the person reaches the intoxication stage or the severe stage of the disease, about 60% of the people affecting from it die. However, there is a vaccine available which can prevent this disease, but these aren't administered regularly in the urban and some rural parts of the Americas. The government has already started to take some necessary steps to eradicate this disease. The next news is from General Motors and it's an interesting one. They have announced that all the new 2017 Cadillac CTS sedans will now come equipped with vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology that will allow them to communicate with other similarly equipped models about any traffic issues ahead or any potential hazards that's ahead. This V2V technology will use a high-frequency, low-latency dedicated short-range communications to establish these links. They'll use a 5.9 GHz band and 75 MHz spectrum which is an FCC certified spectrum for both V2V and V2I communications. This is a good technology as it promotes the establishment of Internet of Things. Other manufacturers also plan to include their V2V features including companies like BMW, Mercedes, etc. The next news is from Georgia Institute of Technology, Atlanta, where the material researchers have created a nanofiber that can help the development of the next-gen rechargeable batteries and also the efficiency of hydrogen production from water electrolysis. These batteries will be called as metal air batteries and these batteries will be able to store a lots of energy in much smaller space than the available batteries. As these batteries are much geared towards extensive storing capacities, we can use them to store renewable energy like wind, solar, etc. as these are not continuous sources of energy. The next news is from Google and it's obviously interesting. They removed their new video intelligence API earlier this week. This API was smart enough to identify all the contents of a video on its own. Like, it was able to bring out many search results of videos which had references of beach in them when searched for the keyword beach. This is a welcome step in the direction of machine learning and a smarter tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, hope you liked it. If you did, please drop us a like. If you have any suggestions or queries, drop them in the comment section. And also consider subscribing to us for more content. Hope you to see you in the next video. Until then, adios.